of there's no dead time because you imagine like if someone was recording it without communicating you'd yeah. be like oh hang on a minute I've got to record three yeah. things but you incorporate it which I think is pretty clever yeah I would just record something I would record it it would take about maybe 45 seconds at the most that's, yeah. what, it sh- that's what it should be like at the most be 45 seconds sometimes it's a minute um, if you mess up it can it can drag on and that's why mm. I try not to mess up mm. um, but I mean in the middle of that I would turn off the turn off the recording uh, aspect or press the button to stop recording mm. in the middle of that say like you know talk about the song and be like all right um, the songs about this and then I would keep looping again and then mm. uh, and then I would say something else and then the song the song would begin you know and what's the most number of uh, kind of recorded bits you've done before you start playing the song because it seemed like you had maybe six or seven on one of the concerts the most let me think I think Expectations has the most but uh, no 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 no. Um, so how many six or seven maybe I would say like eight and then I would do the beatboxing (laughs) so nine maybe almost (laughs) ten only nine sometimes ten (laughs) okay so yeah I mean some of your live performances could be like uh, I think one of them is twelve minutes actually the Ed Sheeran, what's the name of that one? Oh, sometimes it's you a cover. Me. Yeah, yeah, you need me, man. I don't need you. Yeah, a little cover of that song. So yeah, yeah that one's that one's very long, and I try not to play it. But sometimes it, when when the energy's right, I have to. Yeah, but there's no kind of dead air. They call it dead air on the radio when there's mm-hmm. silence. It's like you don't have any of that because you keep talking while you're doing mm-hmm. it. Um, all right, let's get on to performing. Uh, how do you feel when you perform? What's what are your emotions when you play a concert? Yeah, I'm really excited. I'm really. Um, I'm really pumped to play, you Mm. know, people coming out and they they want to have a good time and Mm. they see me having a good time, making them have a good time. And I mean, that's how I feel. I'm just, I'm just really stoked to, I feel really special. So do you get nervous? I love, oh yeah, there's always, it kind of more of a nervous excitement. (laughs) It's more, yeah, anxious, uh, excitement. Mm. Um, uh, but sometimes it's really nervous and sometimes I'm just like, I just want to go home. I want to go home, but because it's, it gets scary. Mm. Because I don't know what it is. It just never goes away. I used to act. I used to do a lot of theater. And mm. it never went away. But then once you're on stage and you're playing, you're like, yeah. Mm. This is fun. So. Yeah, I think as soon as you get in there, as soon as you get on stage, everything changes. Yeah. And for some people, it changes in a bad way. But I think if you've been playing a while, mm-hmm. yeah. if you are nervous before you get on stage, as soon as you're up there, it's like something changes. And, yeah. it's like, and what's your relationship to the audience? Because um, you, I mean, I don't know if it was always the way, but Clearly, like the last few concerts you've done, you tend to have a very hands-on relationship. Oh yeah, I mean, very engaged in with the audience. Yeah, I like to see how uh, everybody's having a good time. You know, I like mm. to incorporate people. I like to have them sing along. And mm. lately, there's been lots of people dancing and and singing and just uh, they catch on to the lyrics quickly and yeah. they they like to participate. You know, and it's mm. it's really fun. And sometimes a friend or two is in the audience and they know a song. And have them jump on and, and, and play the song with me. Mm. So that's, that's another cool. song that we've written together. So that's, uh, that's I mean, that's what I want to keep having. People dancing, people having a good time in the audience. That's, that's what I want to keep doing. That's, that's what I'm all about. Yeah. Have you developed much in the last year? Was it? Yeah. Because so many people come to Madrid, people we know, and really get transformed. I mean, you know Chisara, don't you? I mean, when about 18 months ago when she came in, she told me later she'd never really played ever. Mm-hmm. and like oh, within I don't know about Madrid but three months she was getting she was doing interviews with like uh, the national radio in yeah. Spain and it's she's amazing she's a phenomenal singer, yeah, songwriter yeah, yeah. I'm very it's a, it's a privilege to know her have you collaborated with anyone else uh, around Madrid I've collaborated Who with pa- Paula Ferraz oh, yeah. I've collaborated with Christian with James Charman um with uh, Angel and uh, just a lot of people, yeah, a lot of people. I think I remember James Jarman. Wasn't he the one who left? Right. And Tommy Goodall. I've collaborated. Yeah, uh, James. I was just James, 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 James Jarman. James, we're, we're good friends. <laughs> James is a wonderful guy. Yeah, he he he's gone. He's he's left. But yeah, uh, to the to the answer um, that question, um, have I changed since since yeah. I got here? Have you developed since you got here quite a bit? Uh, yeah, a lot. My first day here, I didn't know anybody, and I was, you know, making a lot of mistakes that I wouldn't do now, and you know, I just try not to uh, repeat those mistakes. Always people that you can learn from, whether it be good or bad. Mm. 
So that's 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 what I try to c contribute to my uh, performance. That's a question I'm going to ask everyone from now. Uh, why perform? Why? Like personally or for anyone? Like, is it a need? Is it just fun? Is it a service? Like you know, you could say that an artist is serving society because they're kind of putting truths out there. They're putting truth out there. They're making people happy. And a lot of times they're fucking up their life as well. They are, For yeah. the benefit of uh, getting stuff out there, you know. Yeah. Well, I don't wish that on anyone, but it tends to happen to a lot of them. Yeah. You know, disproportionate number of rock stars end up in rehab or whatever. Yeah. yeah, is it a need? I mean, what would happen if, if you were banned from performing? Would you... The infamous why. <laughs> um, what yeah. would happen? Well, first, let me answer. Um, so... Uh, I, I do it because this is what I feel like I was born to do. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's when as a very young age, I told my dad I wanted to be a rock star. He got kind of pissed, but that's what I wanted to do. Um, I really, that's this, this what I felt like I, this is what I still feel like mm. the 13 year old boy mm. wanted to be a rock star. And I am 23 now and I uh, still feel the same way. I feel like I really need to play, like play music and, mm. uh, now it's becoming more for other people in the sense that I'm seeing people like really smile when, when I play and yeah. it really and really make them feel happy. So now it's more like, you know, like I want to keep making people happy mm. and just something is so natural is just to play music and that's what I want to do for that's what I want to do for the rest of my life is play music yeah. and make people happy, make give someone a person to relate to so they don't feel mm. alone. Like, um, and I wanna, you know, just advocate you know peace and love and happiness all right excellent what have you got going on in the future you got any gigs that you'd like to plug yeah well i have a gig with tommy goodall on uh november 5th mm -hmm. it's a it's coming up in a couple of weeks uh um, where's that it's in el Bua real it's in oh, Chueca, yeah. alonso martinez area mm -hmm. in madrid and uh i have i believe i have a show coming up in december december 2nd and that's going to be with a full band, I believe. And we'll see how, how that plays out. But the for sure one we have on November 5th, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Mm, excellent. As you're from America, I can't, I can't possibly like not ask you about the election that's coming up. <laughs> Probably the most uh, surreal election in living memory. I mean, I've been following American politics for quite a few years, and I've never known anything like this. What are your observations? I just think that it's like all... A real big show yeah it's all keeping up with the kardashians <laughs> yeah. tv television drama mm. and i it's, it's quite disturbing because it's actually it's telling people like it's okay to be politically incorrect and and to you know to throw trash at you know their 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 classmates because they're they come from a certain background mm. and we have uh two candidates they're they're criticized quite a lot you know and i mean it's a no-brainer who to, to vote for and i mean the so other you got for yeah of mm. course mm. you can't agree with a person completely like a hundred percent there's going to be something like especially with a, a political figure there has to be there's like some some things that they do that there's always balance. baggage yeah with yeah, everyone exactly. yeah. I mean, yeah. they're people and mm. that's it um, but the other one is just like there's nothing that comes out of that guy's mouth. Mm -hmm. um, he who must not be named. <laughs> um, there's nothing that comes out of this, this guy's mouth that I agree with. And he's actually um, just a bully and you know uh, racist and everything bad. So I mean, we're going to go backwards in time if he gets elected. And yeah. I mean, it's just really I feel like it's a publicity stunt. You know? Yeah, I mean, I, I was name checking. You know, Michael Moore, the filmmaker, he wrote a piece in the New Yorker saying, "Oh, maybe Trump, uh, sorry, maybe him, uh, doesn't want to be. Uh, maybe he didn't want to ever be president. It's it's almost like he's some bored billionaire. Who's, but it might be fun to do it for a while. He probably. I don't think he ever actually expected he'd get this far. I don't know. Maybe he did. As the rain comes down. Yeah, it's pouring. Oh, it's wonderful. Yeah, it's Nothing better than a rainy Saturday afternoon. Yeah. Except, maybe, except maybe a rainy Sunday afternoon. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to ask you to solve the world's problems, but uh, here's a question again I'm going to ask people. Uh, what could people do to make the world better in everyday life? Is there anything you observe that people could do in their own lives or maybe reaching out to others? 
I just the I think that 